Hi everybody, today we're making a simple DIY journal and it's super simple and useful and this is what you'll need to make it. You're going to need 3 sheets of white paper and 1 sheet of sturdy cardstock. Then you'll need some cutting materials and some glue. I'm using white glue, you can use hot glue but don't use glue sticks because they're not strong enough. Then you'll also need a ruler and a pencil. Now let's get started. So to begin, take your white sheet of paper and fold it in half. Make sure it's neat and then crease it well. You want to do this to all three sheets of white paper. Then we're going to take each of these sheets and cut them through the center on the creases we made. And I have this cutting device which lets me just slit through the paper to get a clean cut. You can also just use a pair of scissors. Both of them basically are the same thing. So. Then you should have these half sheets of paper and you want to take these sheets and fold them again in half to create smaller sheets and these will act as the pages for your book or journal. Give them a good crease and you should have these many pages. These are basically your pages. Now gather them together and make sure that the loose part is on the right and the closed folded part is on the left and you want to just tighten it and make it all together so it's all neat and you want to take the edge and just staple it on either side on both sides of the book so it's all together and this is basically the base for your book Now for our cover, you can use your cardstock and take your base and place it right on to the cardstock and you want to trace right on top of it starting at the edge of the paper. And then after that, we need to trace on top of it again to make it a little darker because while tracing it was very light. Now we have taken into account the thickness of the book while covering it. So if I took the thickness of this it would be about 0.4 centimeters. So we need to include that when measuring our cover as well. So we're going to create an extra 0.4 centimeter space area over there and you want to just create that and again keep and then again retrace your base right next to that 0.4 cm space. Darken it and cut the whole shape out. It's a large rectangle. This is what you should have. Now we're going to define the thickness of the book again. So you want to place your ruler onto the lines of the 0.4 thickness area and you want to create a crease on it. So you're kind of giving it some volume so it stands out looking like a book. Crease on it and do the same for the other side as well. Place your ruler on the line and fold the sheet forward so it creates a crease. So now we've given our book some volume. Now you want to apply some glue in that area. Apply a generous amount because you don't want it to ever fall out or break apart. So once you apply the glue, place your base and close it tightly and secure it. You want to make sure it's nice and secure and has no scope for ever falling out. This is why I wouldn't recommend using a glue stick because they're not strong enough and they may not be very long lasting for your book. So this is your book and you can choose to decorate it and add stickers to it if you like. I just created this, applied some glue on it and this is basically the label for my little journal and it's perfect for me to doodle alone whenever I feel like I'm bored or I want to draw. So it's very nice and, it's, and as you can see it was so simple to make this. So once you're done decorating and making your journal, you can begin doing whatever you want in it. You can take notes in it, you can use it as a proper notebook, or you can use it for doodling like I am because I get bored and when I'm bored I like to doodle random things in different colors and just get creative. Um, this is amazing because you can completely customize your own book and it's a really fun, easy project which can be completed in other un under 15 minutes depending on how long you take to measure the things. But 
it's such a simple project it's a really fun it's really useful and it's not some craft thing that would just lay there in your room so i hope you guys make this i had so much fun filming and making this thanks so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and leave a comment thanks bye